in this video I want to show you how you can find the equation of the tangent at any given point. Now this is an equation y is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 3 and this is the point where we want to find the equation of the tangent. So let me draw first uh, graphically and then explain the maths behind it. Suppose this is the x and y axis. So, so this is your x axis and this is your y axis. The, this is a basic parabola, so it would be somewhat like this. So one thing that I can see very clearly is your y-intercept is negative 3, okay? Okay, I'm not interested in the x-intercept. And this is, say, this point is somewhere, say, this point is 2, 11. This is 2, 11, and this is the graph of y is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 3. I want to explain graphically and then I'll show you the calculus and the maths behind it. So the question is, we want to find the equation of the tangent passing through this point 2 comma 11. So say if I draw a tangent like this, so let me draw, use a line tool. Say this is, let me use a black color. So this is a tangent at this point. Okay, so this is the tangent. This is what I'm talking about, the tangent. And we want to write the equation of this tangent. Okay. Now, to write the equation of a tangent of a line, you need, the first thing, you need the gradient. So, for gradient, we need the derivative. For gradient, m, okay, I hope you know the equation if a line is y is equal to mx plus c. In some books, they say mx plus b where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. So, well, I have to differentiate this. So, let me write y is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 3. So, differentiating with respect to x, so I say dy by dx is equal to, drop the power down, so that is 2x, and decrease the power by 1, plus 5. So, the derivative function is 2x plus 3. So I want to find what's the gradient divided by dx, what's the gradient of the tangent at x is equal to 2. So where did I get the 2 from? This is that point. This is your x value and this is your y value. Okay. So we know the derivative function is in terms of x. So in place of x I can put 2. So this is 2 times 2 plus 5. Okay. So which is 4 plus, first we have to multiply 4 plus 5, which is 9. So in other words, we can say that the derivative divided by dx at x is equal to 2 is equal to 9. So let us, conf I'll show you how you can do, use your graphic calculator to check your answer. It's always good to check your answer if you have the tool to do it. For that, uh, let me show you. Uh, first, let me type in x squared. The equation is x squared plus 5x, uh, 5x uh, minus 3. So, I have set the scale from minus 10 to 10 and draw it. Okay, so g solve just to show you the point when x is 2, y is 11. It's somewhere here. Yeah. Okay, so then you go to your table menu and type in the equation. So let me type in the equation again. So this is x squared plus 5x minus 3. Okay. And then one thing that you need to do before you uh, go to table, your derivative has to be on. Okay. And then go to your table. So at 2, so look at this point. When x is 2, y is 11. The gradient is 9. Can you see? dy by dx is 9. Can you see this? dy by dx is 9. So when this is your x, this is your y, and this is your dy by dx. So we can uh, have a smiley face here that we have got the derivative, the gradient right. Okay, so now <clears throat> equation of line is y is equal to mx plus c mx plus c, this implies your m at that point is 9. 
a gradient of the line of the tangent at that point is 9. So, well, I can say y is equal to 9x plus c. Now, I need to figure out c for which I need a point and I already have the point when x, when y is 11, x is equal to 2. So, I've written in terms of y and x because I got y first. So, I can put 11 is equal to 9 times 2 plus c. Okay. So, this gives you 11 is equal to 18 plus c. So, taking away 18 from both sides, 11 take away 18 is c, which implies your y-intercept is negative 7. And it does make sense. Okay, if you draw, if you think about this line, it has to have a negative gradient. And so, the answer does make sense. So, therefore, you can say the equation of the tangent, equation of tangent is y is equal to, what's the gradient? 9x minus 7. Now, I'll check my answer on the graphic calculator. So, what I'm saying is, if this is the parabola, this is the graph, or this is the curve, and this is the tangent, there's only one point of intersection between the curve and the line. So, if you draw both these graphs, the point of intersection should be 2, 11. That's how you can check whether your answer is right. Okay. So, let's write the equation. Let's go to graph. Let's go to graph. And we already have this equation sitting there. That's the parabola. And now in y2, you enter 9x minus 7. Okay. So, let me scroll up slightly little. So, here, somewhere here, you have the point of intersection, g sol, and intersect. So, the point of intersection is 2, 11 between the curve and the tangent. 